Hi guys, so we've just covered our comparison operators. Now we're going to move over to logical operators. I've divided this thing into three different parts so we can get a good look at each of them. So firstly what I want to do is I just want to grab the first one. I'm going to get rid of most of it. So there we go, we've just got percent %d and new line. Over here what we need to do is we need to get rid of this first part. I want to change this x is not Oh, x is equal to y to x is not equal to y, then we're going to bring in the AND logical operator, which is just two ampersands. So that's saying, that, um, now we'll just do x is equal to 6, and we'll just run this. And we'll wait, and continue to wait. There we go. So, as you can see here, we've got zero. Now, why is this? This is what we've got to think. Okay, this is my bed. Really my bed. On my notes I've got this as a two. So, I was wondering what the hell I did wrong, and I realised it. So yes, we've actually got one. That's the correct answer in this case, because, and that's the answer that I was looking for. Because what the and logical operator allows us to do is it says that if x is not equal to y, this part is true. So essentially we've got a little, um, could probably put in a little comment here and say true, and I'm going to close that one off. And then on this other side we've got 6 is equal to 6, which again is true. So what the AND operator does is it says that as long as, uh, if this side is true and this side is true, we've got a true result. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, I'm going to get rid of these trues because we don't really need them. I'm going to copy this one out. I'm going to copy it three more times. So we've got four all together. Now I'm just going to change little bits of them. Just one change in each of them, um, and actually this bottom one does have a couple of changes, so 6 is equal to 4. Now what we're going to take a look at here is we're going to see what's happened, and I'm going to explain why it's happened. So as you can see, we've got 1, 0, 0, 0. So let's take a look at this. We've already established that both of these are equal to true. Now we go down a line, this first part is equal to true, but on the other side 2 is not equal to 6, so this part is incorrect, so, which means that we return a false answer for this whole row, or for this whole line I suppose we should use. Um, then we go down another line, 6 is equal to y, now y is 2 and x is 6, so this, this is false, so essentially we don't need to worry about this other one, whereas x is equal to 6, but since we've got one value that isn't equal to, like, since this side is not equal to, it doesn't really matter if this side is. What we need with the AND operators, we need both sides to be equal to the same thing, and down the bottom we've got x is equal to y, which we know is false, and 6 is not equal to 4, so that's false as well. So essentially all we've got is we've got one true up the top and the rest are false because of the way that the end work, end operator works. So I just want to make this clear one last time. With the end, we are doing it just say that if one, oh, the end requires both sides to be correct to return a true value. If one side is false, then it's false. If both sides are false, it's false. So again, only a tr true answer on both of these sides is going to return a true value. So anyway, that was it for this video. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.